Can I talk about my favorite? I like cheese pizza. <laughs> my favorite pizza is cheese pizza. Our cheese pizza is amazing. It's so simple, but because of the high quality ingredients that we use, the cheese, the olive oil, and the good sauce, it's delicious. And you know, the frico on the side, the cheese that crusts up, it's just it's heaven for me. The name Descendant comes from Sicilian pizza. We're a descendant of Sicilian pizza. Descendant opened August 2015. My name is Sotirios Daikis. People usually call me Ike, and I'm the owner of Descendant. I've probably been making pizza all my life. My parents had a little mom and pop shop back in Boston, and uh, I grew up just making pizza, learning from them. I took over as owner in 2022 of November. Chris wanted to part ways with Descendant. He had some other things going on in his life. It was very hard for him to do that. I was trying to keep him in because he's great at what he does. He's innovative, coming up with pizzas, and he's a good friend of mine, so I wanted him on board. I wanted to you know, expand Descendant with him and do everything with him. You need a dough room. It's very helpful to have a dough room. You try to control the element as much as to your ability. The ingredients that we use for our dough is pretty simple. Flour, salt, yeast, water. The flour that we use is a strong flour. We buy it from a local mill in Mississauga. Uh, there's no additives to it. It works very well with what we want to do. Our dough making process is uh, pretty straightforward. We mix our dough, we take it out of the mixer, we let it rest. We weigh it, we ball it. and then we ferment it for about two days in the cooler. So we let them uh, a crust for around 30 minutes and then we seal them again. The hardest part is taking it out of the cooler after the two days, letting it rest, pushing it in the pan as level as possible. I think that's the most difficult part. Every pizza we make has us in the pan and we go on the weekends, we go through around 400 pies. The pans that we use are Lloyd's pans. They're a blue steel pan and they're engineered for making Detroit style pizza, which works great for us. proofing it to exactly where we need it to be to have a consistent pie. It's a long process. It sounds easy, yeah. but people have no fucking clue. <laughs> so we leave them here for around one hour, one hour and a half, and we need to see them if they are rising. We need the dough to rise to this mark, really. 80% or more to this mark, where the cheese melts. Downstairs, the fridge. 
So it, it, there's a lot of work that goes into it. I don't think people understand how much work really goes into Detroit style pizza. I've had some customers complain, you know, you sold out, you know, it's like, yeah, I, I'm sorry that I'm, my space is limited. There's only so much I can do. I would love to produce a thousand pies a day. That'd be great. I just don't have the room for it. Detroit style pizza is, uh, what is it? It's, it's a pizza in a rectangular pan. I would say our most popular pizzas are the No Name, Truff Guy, and the Daddy's Favorite. The No Name was a little difficult to come up with a name because there was a lot going on. We had, you know, Iso Pepperoni, you know, Calabrian chilies on there, sausage that we make in house, and we finish it off with ricotta, some herbs, and hot honey. I mean, what do you call that? There's no name for that, so hence, no name. Truff Guy is a nice pizza. It's delicious, actually. Caramelized onions, double smoked bacon, mushrooms that we, we actually marinate the mushrooms overnight and then we cook them the next day. We used to zest the lemon on the Truff Guy, but a lot of customers found it overpowering, so we just added it in the truffle aioli and it just works perfect. Grana, a little bit of fresh thyme and black pepper. Daddy's favorite is another one of my favorite pizzas. Mama Little Peppers, roti, jerk chicken that comes on the Daddy's favorite and the Electric Avenue. We make it in-house. We try to make as many things as we can in-house. Mango chutney, finish it off with green onions, curry lime aioli, and a little bit of cilantro. What makes our pizza so good is the attention to detail. I mean, from start to finish, the dough process, the fermentation process, the pushing it in the pan, and then bringing it downstairs and the ingredients that we use. We use top quality ingredients. That makes a difference. You can't make a good pizza without high quality ingredients. If you're gonna cut corners and, you know, buying your ingredients, then why bother? What makes Descendant of Toronto style pizza, it's the multiculturalism, you know, the style of the pizza. You know, we raised the bar with the pizza, to be honest, and Chris did a great job bringing Descendant and Detroit style pizza to Canada, never mind Toronto. And it was a different version of Detroit style pizza. You know, I find Detroit style pizza is a little bit thinner and tougher, but ours is a little bit more fluffier, like focaccia and the ingredients are indigenous to Toronto. You know, our jerk chicken, our roti, our mama little peppers, you know, different types of cultures. We don't cut our pizza all the way through because it's our signature style, that's what we do. We like to offer you a good looking pizza. It's important for us to deliver a great pizza every single time because that's why we opened to send it. We're all about perfection and offering our customers the best of the best when it comes to Detroit style pizza. What I like about my job is interacting with my employees, my customers, the everyday operations that go along with the restaurant industry and obviously making pizza. That's, that's a dream come true for me. Truth be told, none of this would happen without the crew. My crew is solid. They show up every day, never complain, and they love making pizza. Thanks to them, Descendant keeps on running and making great pizza. My goal for Descendant is expansion. Being able to offer our Detroit-style pizza in other cities within Ontario, and maybe in the world somewhere. Who knows? You know, but we'll start small. Start with the second location first. I'd like to say to my customers, thank you very much. 
for everything, for all your support. We do our best to accommodate anything you need, and without you guys, we're nothing.